previous video I discussed about the 11 KB or the 6.6 KB incoming feeder single line metering and protection diagram. Today I will discuss about the outgoing feeder. This is uh, this is transformer outgoing feeder. So from this 11 KB from this 11 KB switchboard or 6.6 KB uh, switch gear, uh, this is the outgoing feeder. This is going to the transformer for the distribution transformer uh, towards distribution transformer that means LV transformer. Suppose there is 11 KB by 415 volt transformer or 6.6 KB by 415 volt transformer. So this feeder, this outgoing feeder for this particular application. So what will be the protections, what will be the metering for this transformer feeder and definitely this is oil field transformer. Keep in mind for dry type transformer this scheme is not applicable. This is applicable for oil field transformer only. So let's start. As you can see uh, uh, based on the uh, schemes uh, so this is 52 circuit breaker as i explained in my previous video also this is withdrawal or the draw type circuit breaker and these are the breaker status breaker on of spring charge trip trip circuit healthy so these are the uh, breaker circuit breaker status as specified in the specification as per the project requirement there may be more there may be less and this is differential protection CT, this current transformer, this is for differential protection, 87, as you can see this is numerical multifunction relay and uh, these are the protective, protective functions available with this numerical multifunction relay. So here 87 differential protection for this we need CT connection, so this is the CT and for RU protection this is 64. 64 is the um, uh, transformer uh, low voltage side restricted earth fall protection so we need CT um, uh, dedicated CT for that so this is for audio protection CT and this uh, third one uh, is for the for the entire multi multifunction uh, relay unit current uh, current input so what are the uh, what uh, does this CT um, uh, feeds feed this is feeding uh, to the uh, to these functions 50 that means instantaneous over current this is instantaneous element uh, of the uh, of that particular uh, relay without any time delay so this is 50 51 inverse time over current 50g definite time over current and breaker failure function so these are the protective functions required for this particular feeder and for this particular purpose this uh, current transformer this CT is connected with the um, relay okay next is coming this fourth uh, fourth CT this is connected with the MFM multifunction meter and from this multifunction uh, digital multifunction meter you see this one signal is coming uh, is, uh, this signal is going to uh, to bus VT panel and uh, from this multifunction uh, meter 4 to 20 milliampere uh, DC. This signal is going to uh, this signal is going to other uh, remote area for for remote interface and also additional feature is available here. Modbus RS485. So Modbus RS485. This is for uh, the DCS connectivity. So this signal is going to the DCS for uh, for the um, uh, for the parameters uh, which are required to be displayed or to be uh, to be maintained at DCS. And this is CVCT. CVCT is nothing but uh, the zero sequence CT. This is required for the cable uh, cable uh, cable protection. This feeder protection. So this is zero sequence CT. So all these CT inputs are going uh, to this numerical multifunction relay. And here below side, as you can see, this 63 WTI UTI. So these are related to oil field transformer. These are related to oil field transformer only. So 63 is the Buchholz relay. So as you know, this Buchholz relay will be located uh, with the uh, transformer, oil field transformer. So that signal will be coming here. Uh, so this is the relay and uh, this is WTI. That means winding temperature indicator for this uh, signal is required. So uh, winding temperature high uh, for this measurement and this is OTI that means oil temperature measurement. So winding temperature measurement, oil temperature measurement uh, and 
this conservator on level uh, low alarm so for this we uh, we need signal from transformer so this is coming from transformer marshalling box all these signals are coming from transformer marshalling box um, to this relay and uh, also downstream transformer low voltage side bushing ct uh, what is the purpose here because this is for 64 this is for 64 relay as already we have discussed audio production transformer low voltage side restricted earth fold so transformer audio protection is 64 so for this purpose we need uh, phase side uh, phase side city connection which is here and uh, uh, one city connection is from the downstream side transformer low voltage side boosting city that city is located in the transformer low voltage side boosting so that city signal is also required for the operation of this 64 or relay so these are the inputs required and another thing is that this is the charge register this is charge register and this is required this charge register is required for the transformer outgoing transformer feeder uh, protection so all these things uh, and uh, one more thing uh, uh, for uh, for the transformers rated minimum 5 uh, minimum 5 in 5 mba and above uh, this 87 differential protection and the 64 that means uh, audio protection uh, you can provide uh, but for from 10 uh, 10 mba above this is mandatory requirement uh, so this 87 and 64 uh, this protection function is not required less than less than 5 MVA transformers okay so today today uh, we have discussed about the transformer outgoing feeder from 11 kV or 6.6 kV switchboard